Did you know that Bollinger Bands have been around for almost 50 years when in 1980s they were first introduced by John Bollinger who used this principle in his own trading. He basically combined the principles of mean reversion and standard deviation to come up with a new technique that turned out to be really effective in tracking market volatility. So what exactly is this tool about and what are these Bollinger Bands? Bollinger Bands are nothing more than a set of trend lines that are plotted at a distance of two standard deviation above and below the moving average. So in really simple words, it means that the price will continue to move around the moving average and the range defined by these two bands, which is two standard deviation around the moving average is where there's a higher likelihood for the price to be. Or if we flip this around, it means that every time the price travels outside these two bands, it must be a point of rare occurrence or of great significance. So now that you know what Bollinger Bands are, let's have a quick look on how they will appear when you set them up on your trading screen. You will feel as if a cloud cover has covered all your candlesticks and only a few of them manage to escape this cloud cover. The central line of this indicator is a simple moving average of closing prices from the most recent 20 periods. This will follow the same time frame as used for the price chart, which means if you are plotting for daily pricing movement, then the simple moving average will take the last 20 days price data for calculating the average. Whereas if you are using hourly data, then this will be the moving average of the last 20 hours. So in short, whatever time frame you use for plotting your price chart, the same will be used for calculating the moving average. Now let's move to our upper and lower bands. These are plotted by adding or subtracting two standard deviation from the moving average. While it is not important to have a detailed understanding of the statistics behind this indicator, it is at least important to understand how the principles of squeeze and expansion work. So let's demonstrate this by assuming a security which is going through a phase of price increase. As the price will continue to grow, the, the simple moving average will follow the same trend. However, it is using the, the information from the past 20 periods, which means that while it will continue to demonstrate this increasing behavior, it will be slightly behind in its price movement. If you continue to pro plot the upper and lower bands around this, ideally the bands will cover most of the pricing information demonstrated by this price chart. And at the same time, the standard deviation does not get impacted by the positive or negative behavior of this price, which means the upper band and the lower band will both have to expand to cover the necessary data points as per the standard deviation that we have chosen to use for this chart. So now the price growth starts to slow down and the price is moving more closely around the moving average. Now you will see that the upper and lower band will now show a behavior of contraction or commonly known as a squeeze which shows that the price is more tightly spread around the moving average. A common terminology used by traders to identify such a scenario is said that the market is moving sideways, which means as the time progresses, the price is neither moving upwards or downwards trending, instead it is just moving sideways and staying closer to the average. And then once again when the market will start to grow and the price will start to expand, you will see that the upper and lower bands will also expand at the same time and they will move away from the moving average to cover the maximum amount of data as required by the standard deviation. This is known as the expansion phase of the Bollinger Bands. And as you will continue to observe the Bollinger Bands, you will see this as a pattern of repeating expansions and squeeze phases which means that every time the price starts to grow or to contract, it will go through an expansion phase because the price would move away from the moving average. And at the same time, when the price will go through a consolidation phase, which is when it will be moving sideways, 
and closer to the moving average, it will go through phases of squeeze. And this pattern is really important for us for our decision making because every time it goes through a phase of a squeeze, it is a signal that there is going to be an upcoming expansion. And it's just that we need to be really careful in which direction will this expansion happen. It is important to remember that Bollinger Band is really effective when used in the direction of price trend, whereas when it's moving in sideways, traders should be more careful and wait for the breakout before making a trading decision. I hope you have understood the basics of the tool so far. So let's use a quick demo to understand how this works. Let's go to the menu and select Bollinger Bands from the list of indicators available on the trading platform. Almost all platforms would provide Bollinger Bands and as you will select that, it will come with default settings. You can adjust the color settings of this indicator to make it slightly more visual. Some traders also add a three standard deviation version on top of the two standard deviation. This is to provide an even sharper view of where the price is moving. And if it reaches the three standard deviation band, it means it's a really big outlier. And as I mentioned, it's really important to trade in the direction of the trade. And as you can see in here, as the price continues to move in the direction of the trade, it will typically just bounce off the middle central moving average, the simple moving average line and not go all the way down to the bottom end, which means that the price is continuing to show an upward trend. Okay, now, now I'll wrap up this video with a bit of a bonus content, which is not for everyone, but only people who are really interested in understanding the science of standard deviation that is at the core of this indicator. Let's assume a, a data set that demonstrates the behavior of normal distribution, which basically means that the price is evenly spread around the mean average of the data set. And as I said, we are not interested in the price points that are closer to the average because that is where most of the prices will lie. We are rather interested in the prices that are farther away from the average because they are fewer in occurrence and definitely that's why they are more interest, of interest to us. When the price is spread widely around the average, it's said to demonstrate high volatility. Whereas when the price is stacked closer to the mean, it's said to demonstrate low volatility because it means that the price is moving more or less around the average. Now, a single standard deviation is said to cover 68% of the data set around mean. If we extend that to two standard deviation, it means that it covers 95% of the data points around the mean. And if we extend it to three standard deviation, then it covers a mouth-watering 99.7% of the data points around mean. Which means if we are using the two standard deviation, our zone of interest would be that 5% that lies outside this 95%. And if we extend that to three standard deviation, then it means any point that is outside that three standard deviation is basically 0.3% of the total data set. So using these two standard and three standard deviations on our indicator will allow us to identify those true outliers because that is our real purpose behind using this tool, which is to identify the true outliers and be able to use those, that information wisely in our trading decisions. So I hope this video has been helpful in understanding the working principles behind this tool.